White teas can be made from just the buds that are picked very carefully from the tea bushes or from a bud and two or three baby leaves that are actually still attached to the stem. Now, when we make white tea, we actually don't intervene at all in what happens to the leaf. It is the least handled, the least manufactured of all the categories of tea. And the important thing when they're picking the leaf is not to bruise the cells because as soon as you squeeze the bud if you're picking it and you break the cells, you actually are going to provoke oxidation. So we get the pickers to very, very carefully break the buds off the uh, bushes. And in fact, in China in the past and in one or two tea estates um, around the world today, the girls will be sent out into the plantation actually with gloves on, with little golden scissors, and they actually find the bud, they'll put a little bowl underneath and they'll snip the bud off so that it's actually not touched by human hand. So it's very important that they're picked very, very carefully. And then all that happens to the bud, or possibly the leaves as well, after picking is that they are left to dry in the sun or in shaded sunlight if the sun's too hot for maybe a couple of days and then they're taken indoors into a special drying room and they're left for maybe another one or two days until most of the moisture has evaporated out of the leaf. So we don't really intervene at all. We just let nature take its course. Now, whenever you um, break the cells on the tea and you always break the cells when you break the bud off the stem, you are going to expose the juices. So there is always going to be a little bit of oxidation on the end of that bud where it used to be joined to the plant. So when you look at a white tea, you're actually going to have a mixture of unoxidized leaf, which is still silver or pale green, and you're always going to see a little bit of natural oxidation, which will turn the leaf and maybe the stem, where it's been joined to the plant, a little bit brown because this is what happens naturally if we don't stop that oxidation process from happening.